Assalamu alaikum dear students you are watching MLT MCQs I am Kamran today MCQs will be from serological test and uh, we will talk about 10 best MCQs in serological test so let's start the MCQs MCQ number one is what does the anti-nuclear antibodies ANA test Myers what does the anti-nuclear antibodies ANA test Meyer? Options for this MCQ are antibodies that destroy bacteria, antibodies that destroy the body's own cells, antibodies that destroy viruses, antibodies that destroy microorganisms and the right option for this MCQ is option number two. Antibodies they destroy the body's own cells. MCQ number 2 is <coughs> what can negatively affect the immunoglobulin test? What can negatively affect the immunoglobulin test? Options for this MCQ are recent blood transfusion, radioactive scan 3 days before the test is administered, recent vaccination all of the above and the right answer for this mcq is option number four all of the above recent blood transfusion radioactive scan three days before the test is administered and recent vaccination can negatively affect the immunoglobulin test mcq number three is what happens if the ELISA test is positive? What happens if the ELISA test is positive? Options for this MCQ are the patient has a confirmed diagnosis of HIV, the patient has a confirmed diagnosis of AIDS, a second ELISA test is administered, none of the above and the right answer for this MCQ is Option number 3, a second ELISA test is administered. MCQ number 4 is, what does the rheumatoid factor RF test Myers? What does the rheumatoid factor RF test Meyer? Options for this question are, the presence of the autoantibody rheumatoid factor, the presence of the rheumatoid antigen, the presence of the rheumatoid bacteria, the presence of the rheumatoid virus and the right answer for this question is option number one, the presence of the autoantibody rheumatoid factor. MCQ number five is, what does the CD4 count test measure? What does the CD4 count test measure? Options for this MCQ are T lymphocytes, T cells, T helper cells, all of the above and the right answer for this question is option number 4, all of the above. So CD4 count test Meyer T lymphocytes, T cells and T helper cells. MCQ number 6 is what test can be used to screen for rheumatoid arthritis RA? What test can be used to screen for rheumatoid arthritis RA? Options for this question are immunoglobulin test, IgM test, ANA test, CD4 count test and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 3. ANA test can be used to screen for rheumatoid arthritis RA. MCQ number 7 is what is IgM? What is IgM? Options for this question are an immunoglobulin that forms when an infection occurs for the first time, an immunoglobulin that cross the placenta, an immunoglobulin found on mucous membranes, an immunoglobulin found in tears. And the right answer for this MCQ is option number 1. IgM is an immunoglobulin that forms when an infection occurs for the first time. 
Dear students, subscribe to our channel MLT MCQs. In this channel, MCQs are given every day or every other day from all MLT subjects, which will be helpful in all your exams, whether the exams are from your college or a university or for foreign jobs. So kindly subscribe our channel MLT MCQs. MCQ number 8 is What are immunoglobulins? What are immunoglobulins? Options for this question are antibodies by the immune system in response to a microorganism, antibodies by the immune system in response to an allergen, antibodies by the immune system in response to abnormal cells, all of the above. The right answer for this question is option number 4, all of the above. Immunoglobulins are antibodies by the immune system in response to a microorganism as well as immunoglobulins are an antibodies by the immune system in response to an allergen as well as immunoglobulins are antibodies by the immune system in response to abnormal cells. MCQ number 9 is why is the viral load measurement test administered? Why is the viral load measurement test administered? Options for this MCQ are to confirm AIDS, to determine if HIV RNA is decreasing, stabilized or increasing, to confirm HIV, none of the above and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 2. To determine if HIV RNA is decreasing, stabilized or increasing. MCQ number 10 is why would a healthcare provider order the CD4 count test? Why would a healthcare provider order the CD4 count test? Options for this MCQ are to assess the patient's immune system, to assist in the diagnosis of AIDS, to assess the treatment of HIV, all of the above and the right answer for this MCQ is option number 4, all of the above. To assess the patient's immune system, to assess in the diagnosis of AIDS, to assess the treatment of HIV. So for these purposes, a healthcare provider order the CD4 count test. Thank you so much dear students. That's all for today. Like this video and share it with your friends. Take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.